Hello and welcome to Calculus Tutorial. Um, we are going to talk about something called U substitution. Um, it is a way to take an antiderivative. It's a um, strategy that we don't have a lot of to take antiderivatives actually. For derivatives, we have the chain rule, we have the product rule, we have the quotient rule. We have all of these techniques, but we don't have any of that for antiderivatives or for integrals. Um, today we get one, and it is called U substitution. It is the opposite of the chain rule. Um, and so that's what we're going to start with, is undoing the chain rule. So you can see the arrows, the chain rule is the derivative, works you that way, and U substitution is the antiderivative, works you back that way. So what is U substitution? Well, first, let's do something that we know, um, derivatives. So if I take the derivative of f of x, it takes the chain rule. So you take the derivative of the outside, which is 3 cosine. The inside stays the same, times the derivative of the inside. So f prime of x is equal to uh, 9x squared times cosine of x cubed. Now, if you know a derivative, you know an antiderivative. So that means that the antiderivative of 9x squared times cosine of x cubed is equal to 3 sine of x cubed plus c, of course. Now, how do we go from point A to point B if we don't already know the answer? We know this has to be true because we started here, took the derivative, and then we know we can go backwards. But if I was only given this, how do, ooh, I saw I wrote something wrong there, didn't I? That cubed should be on the inside of the parentheses. Cosine of x cubed. Sorry about that. How could I go from here to there if I didn't already know the answer? So let's do that. If I start with 9x squared times cosine of x cubed, how can I get to the answer, pretending that I don't already know what the answer is? Well, you do what is called a u substitution. I don't know the antiderivative of cosine of x cubed. That's an issue. I know the antiderivative of cosine of x, but not x cubed. So what you do is realize that the x cubed is the issue, and you turn that into a single variable u. So we're going to make u equal to x cubed. So this will become the integral of 9x squared times the cosine of u dx. So that looks simpler already. The problem is we have x's and u's you cannot have x's and u's in an equation. So we have to get rid of the x's. So what we do is take the derivative of u with respect to x, which is equal to 3x squared, and then we solve for dx. So we're going to do this in our head a little bit. Multiply by the dx, it comes over here, and then divide by the 3x squared so that you're left with dx is equal to du over 3x squared. And then we're going to plug this in for dx. So instead of dx, we're going to write du over 3x squared. So we're going to have the integral of 9x squared times the cosine of u, and instead of dx, 
dx is equal to du over 3x squared. Now that is very good for us because the x squared cancels out the x squared. And the 9, 3 also reduce, don't they? That's going to be a 3. So now the only thing I have left is 3 cosine of u du. Hey, that is a very simple integral. We only have u's, and we know what this integral is. That's very easy. Uh, sorry, I'm running out of room here, so let's go up over here somewhere. So the 3 can be pulled out, and it stays. The antiderivative of cosine of u is sine of u plus c. Now here comes the greatest calculus joke ever. We don't care about u, and so we have to get rid of it. u is the same as x cubed, and so we have 3 sine of x cubed plus c, which is exactly what we needed. All right, so that is u substitution. It looks a lot there because we had a lot of extra steps at the beginning. It's actually not that bad. And it is one of our main strategies for taking integrals if they don't work out nicely at the beginning. All right, so let's do one or two more of those so we can practice. Because I'm guessing one question you're having is, how did we know that u was supposed to be x cubed? And that's going to take just a little bit of practice, um, but you'll get the hang of that pretty quickly. So let's do a couple of examples here. So looking at this one, we're going to use a u substitution. So what are we going to make u to make this much simpler? Well, one place to look first is the inside. This is the opposite of the chain rule, right? And the chain rule always happened when there were insides. And so that's a good place to start. So u is x squared minus 10. And you just have to try it. Will that work? So I'm going to do the whole du dx thing because I'm going to have to do it eventually. Uh, so that is 2x solve for dx, so the dx is going to multiply over, the 2x is going to divide over, so we're left with dx is equal to du over 2x. Alright, so what does my integral become? The integral of 2x times, uh, instead of x squared minus 10, we're writing u, probably didn't need such big parentheses, and instead of dx, we are writing du over 2x. And you can see this works out nicely because the 2x's cancel out. So we are simply left with the integral of u cubed. And that is a very easy integral. The 3 mul doesn't multiply down. It becomes 1 fourth u to the fourth plus c. And like always, we don't care about u, so plug the x's back in. Uh, x, ooh, what happened there? Uh, x squared minus 10 to the fourth plus c. So there is our antiderivative. All right, one more here. We have 6x squared over this big piece here. So we're going to make u equal to, let's see, what are we going to choose? Again, it's best to start with an inside somewhere. So I might start there. And you just have to try it to see if it works. Sometimes it won't work, and you'll have to try something else. 
I think this time we are in luck. Uh, the derivative is 3x squared. So multiply the dx over, divide the 3x squared over, dx is equal to du over 3x squared. All right, let's rewrite this integral to see what we have. So we haven't touched the 6x squared on top. On the bottom, we have u squared. And then times, instead of dx, we are doing du over 3x squared. So it looks like the x squareds cancel. That's kind of nice. And even the 3 and the 6 reduce a little bit. So that will be a 2. So we are left with the integral of 2 over u squared du. Now that's not too bad. Uh, we do have to rewrite it though, uh, because that is 2u to the negative 2. And so now that can be done. Uh, so add 1 to the exponent there, u to the negative 1, uh, plus c. Oops, divide that by negative 1, right? So that will become a negative 2u to the negative 1. And we don't care about u, so I'm going to put it back in the denominator. We're going to put x's here, but the negative 1 means it will be in the denominator. And u is equal to x cubed plus 4 plus c. So there we have our antiderivative. So that is u substitution. That is one of our main strategies for taking uh, more difficult antiderivatives and integrals. So hopefully that makes some sense there for you. Um, that is the gist of U substitution.